Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I will show you how you can set the navigation order in Power BI chart and objects. So in the previous video I have talked about the shortcuts and one of the ways or one of the shortcut to move from one object to another is the tab right to to get the focus and this is where shortcut becomes really handy because you can use the tab and change the focus from one object to another or from one chart to one slicer and things like this. So if you are facing an issue in terms of setting the focus order uh, or the order of navigation, then you can find this video useful. Also, you can set your own custom um, navigation order from via this video with the help of this video. So before that, if you are landing on my channel for the very first time, you will see that this sheet is present in the description, which is a live sheet. And here all of my previous videos are present and all of my future videos will be present and you can quickly search them based on your need and access it using this uh, column B where the link of the YouTube videos are present. All right. So with that information, make sure you mark, bookmark it and use it whenever you need it. Now let's move on to uh, the Power BI. So here we are in the Power BI. And if you see right now we have these two objects, we have chart, I have just selected the chart. And if I press tab, you will see the navigation or uh, it is basically selecting the year. And if I press tab again, it is selecting the subcategory. Now let me create one more object. Let's say the slicer over here. And I can maybe add category as a slicer, right? And if I press tab, uh, I select this and press tab, you will see that this is how the navigation is happening, right? Right now, it is basically not going even to the slicer 3 in this case. So you can set your own custom navigation based on your needs. Like I'm just, you can see I'm just doing a bit of a changing here uh, in terms of the size and all. And I'm putting it like this in a proper order. So like this, how you can basically change the navigation is something uh, I want to show you. So for that, what you need to do is you need to come here in the view and select the selection panel. Within the selection panel, you have the tab order. And over here, if you see the tab order is present something like this, where you have this slicer, you have this slicer and you have this. So I want to make, let's say, first selection over here to this. So I will keep this up or I will put this as the first, second should be this one, and third should be this one. So this way, if I select this and press my tab, you will see that my navigation order is changed. So in the same way, you can move this by dragging up and down and get the navigation order using this tab order uh, section under the selections panel. So that's something I wanted to show you how very quickly you can do this. Uh, if you are the one like a developer or an user, you want to give some sort of flexibility, they can easily do it without much of an hassle. So that's about it. And I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.